use a trim tool to get behind this triangular plastic panel here. Just run it behind it, pry out gently. Release that, set it aside. We're gonna use our trim tool on the inside and just gonna pop out this little bucket right here. So you're gonna expose two Torx screws. Let's go ahead and loosen these. And then we'll go ahead and remove them. Use your trim tool to get underneath the switch bezel here. Pull this up and go ahead and disconnect our connectors here. Right behind the door release handle pull, use your pocket screwdriver to pop up that trim. And there's a, another Torx screw right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. On the side edge of the door, you have your reflector here. We're gonna use our trim tool Get behind there, pop that out. Using a seven millimeter deep socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove this screw on the inside here. Using our trim tool, we want to go ahead and put it between the door panel and the door shell and gently tug away. This will start to release our plastic push pins supporting the door shell. Pull it out and lift up. I'm going to use our pocket screwdriver. I want to go ahead and release our dual pull cable here. Pop that out, release that ball and cable from the back of the handle. Now release our power door lock switch harness right here. There's a little tab on the top. And it'll pop off like that. And go ahead and set your panel aside. Using your pocket screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and press down on this little tab on this connector and pull this apart. Once we have that separated, we'll go ahead and pull out our little retainer right here that's holding our harness in place. Once that's out, let's go ahead and remove these three 10 millimeter nuts on the back side of our mirror. When you go to remove the top one, you want to be sure to hold the mirror because that is the last component holding that mirror onto the door. Wiggle it from the outside, separate the mirror, and pull the harness through the door shell. Take the pigtail for your mirror, 
feed that through the hole in the front. Pull that through. Follow with the mirror, put the studs into the door. Go ahead and line that up. I'm gonna get the top nut installed first. Thread it on as far as I can. That'll allow me to let go of the mirror. Then we'll go ahead and install the other nuts. I'm going to go ahead and snug those down. Now, once these snug down, I normally go about another quarter turn. You don't want to go too much more. You don't want to pull the studs out of the mirror. Snug, quarter turn. Snug, quarter turn. Now you can go ahead and take your mirror harness, bring that on over, line that up, snap it together. Now our old harness had a little clip that would go in here. We're simply going to lay this down and we're just going to use a couple little pieces of duct tape to hold that down into place like so. Now on our harness, we have our power door lock wire harness right here. I'm gonna go ahead and line this up. Get that pressed into place. Once that's locked in, bring your door panel up. I'm gonna feed our harness up and into that area. On the inside, we have our cable unit here. We need to go ahead and line this up. Let's go ahead and install the cable on the back side of the handle. And we'll get that popped into place here. Like so. Now we're going to go ahead and hang the top of the door panel on our sill. Line up our door lock right here. Make sure the door panel sets properly and then we're going to go ahead and snap it into place. Going to install our screw here. And snug that down. I want to go ahead and install your reflector here. Install our screw behind our door handle here. Once you get that started, we'll go ahead and snug that down. Install a little trim piece here. We're going to install our power switch panel here. Line up your connectors. Snap those into place. I'm going to take the front side of our power switch and insert this down and in. And then push this down. Install the door pull screws here. Just gonna get that started. 
Get that second one in. Let's go ahead and snug those down. Go ahead and drop in a little bucket there. 